G'day folks. Oh, it's a lovely afternoon here in uh, sunny Melbourne. Not too hot, not too cold now. Um, yeah, just did my first reasonable scrapyard pick this year. Uh, of course, I've got even more stuff to get rid of on the trailer over there, but I figured I'd have a bit of a look around. And what did we find? New old stock refrigerant filter dryers, or accumulated dryers. Some uh, part numbers there. Brad will have, Brad's got the book to look all of these up. That one there's a different one. New old stock Kenworth air conditioning and heater coil. It's a combo coil. It's got la two layers. One of it's hydronic type stuff for the heater. The other's a um, that's a TX valve and input and output block. So it's a dual purpose coil and a good 10 psi diesel lift pump. Very handy to have. Also lots of new gas flue tubing like there was about two or three cubic meters of various sizes of gas and canara like wood, wood heater flue all brand new much of it's still in the wrapping um, I should have grabbed more but I don't have the room for it and I want I know Brad will want some of this um, and I'm going to use some myself as an exhaust thing for small engines just bring the flexible Dutch down stuff something in the end of it and away you go maybe have a booster fan at the back end of the shed or just on the outside but yeah it's going to come in handy probably best to put a booster fan on it so it stays under negative pressure so they're not really sealed that well um, also stripped down the two crappy spare tires that I got with the Jag the tires are all dry rotted and just rooted and um, I've got a couple of uh, sort of three-quarter tread Toyo Transist donated the other day so I can refit them I think that one you said it's got a nail hole right in the center of the tread but it hasn't been run flat so I can just plug that anyway. You always check the inside of the side walls for scoring or getting chewed out. If anything I think that one looks like it's got a little bit of wear on it. Yeah see it's been low once before but they've done a proper repair. But that is actually, that's one of the things you should actually look for. You can see where the nails come through it's actually chomped into the side wall but it doesn't look like it's gone very deep it's just on the surface but that's very important that if it has gone down or the the nail sort of off towards the shoulder side look for stuff like that because if it's actually gashed through there that side wall can blow out but that's that's acceptable so yeah it's a bit of interesting trivia yeah it's definitely gotten a bit low so yeah that's what you get. I'll clean these old wheels up too, give them a coat of paint. They really do need a paint. Clean the rust off them. That's one of the reasons why these leak, and this one was leaking, because it just had too much crud on the bead areas. And you notice this doesn't have safety beads either. That's just typical of old cars like that, like the Jag. So that'll be later on this week. Um, back to work on Monday. It's currently Wednesday, so Still got a few days to muck around, but not an awful lot. And then I'll probably be working five days a week again. Because we're pretty busy at the moment. So, yeah. Not a lot else to report on. I did drag the um, hot tube engine, the Hyundai, little Hyundai Pro en XL engine that I was messing around with out. And uh, just give it one, one last try, otherwise it can go in the bin. I can't remember where I put it, but I made a gas ring adapter last night. That's what I made up. I know it's got a bit of a restriction up here, but considering the speed the engine's going to be doing, it shouldn't be an issue. And we should get enough turbulence and mixing going on through there, because the gas comes out through those slots. So I made that up last night and just machined and fit a bushing onto the end of this old Danfoss refrigerant line flange, the old steel bolted flanges. Just heat shrink and tap, tapped it on and the hose fits perfectly so that's actually air tight up to the top the tapes just there to take up any other air leaks because I just got one bolt holding it on I didn't end up finding an o-ring for it but yeah that's going to be my little intake attachment and just dump propane down that a little bit at a time until she fires the only issue is going to be whether or not I burn my glow plugs out but that's another matter if I burn this set of glow plugs out the engine's going in the bin I don't have time, any more time for it.
So that's an in interesting project. I did get it firing at one stage, but then the glow plugs burned out. So, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>